morning everyone our lesson today is about simple machine there are three objectives for today's lesson one describe a lever machine number two identify the classes of simple lever machine and number three Appreciate the uses of simple lever machines. What is simple machine? A simple machine is a thing that is created by people to make work easier. What are the different types of simple machine? Simple machines include inclined plane, lever, pulley, screw, wedge, and wheel and axle. A lever is composed of a straight or bent rigid bar that is free to turn on the fixed or movable part known as fulcrum. It is used to help move or lift a heavy or fixed load on one end when force is applied on the other end. Examples are nail cutter, seesaw, and scissors. There are three classes of lever. Number one is the first class lever. In a first class lever, the effort or the force moves over a large distance to move the load a smaller distance and the fulcrum is between the effort or force and the load. Examples of first class levers are pliers, scissors, a crowbar, a claw hammer, and a seesaw, and a weighing balance. These are the examples. Number two is the second class lever. The load is located between the fulcrum and the effort force. A second class lever does not change the direction of force. When the fulcrum is located closer to the load than to the effort force, an increase in mechanical advantage results. Examples of second class levers are nut crackers, wheelbarrows, doors, and bottle openers. This is the wheelbarrow, the nut cracker, the can opener, and the lever locks for doors. The third class lever. The effort force is applied between the fulcrum and the resistance force. A third class lever does not change the direction of force, always produce a gain in speed and distance and a corresponding decrease in force. Examples, fishing rod, tweezers, hammer, and shovel. What is the lesson that we've learned today? Here is our generalization. Levers are simple machines which help us lift up things easily. There are three classes of levers. First class, second class, and third class. Levers are rigid bars that turn around a pivot called the fulcrum. They are used to help move or lift heavy or fixed load on one end when force is applied on the other end. Now let's do an assessment. Here is the direction. Answer the following questions by choosing the letter of the best answer. Are you ready? Question number one. Which of the following best describes lever machine? A. It is a plane it is a plain flat supporting surface tilted at an angle. B. 
is a form of inclined plane that is wrapped around a central shift. Letter C, it is a device which has a fulcrum or a pivot point. And letter D, is a machine that has a sharp edge. Correct answer is letter C. It is a device which has a fulcrum or a pivot point. Question number two. What do you need to have or form a first-class lever machine? A. Load, effort, and fulcrum. B. Effort, fulcrum, load. Letter C, fulcrum, load, effort. And letter D, fulcrum, bar, effort. The correct answer is letter A, load, effort, and fulcrum. Number three question, which of the following is not a part of a lever? A. Effort, B. Energy, C. Fulcrum, D. Load. Correct answer is letter D, load. Question number four. All of the following are examples of a first class levers except Correct answer is letter D. Question number five. Which of the following best describes the first class lever? A. The fulcrum is between the effort and the load. B. The fulcrum lies at one end. Letter C. The fulcrum is at one end but the load is at the other end. Letter D. It is composed of a straight bent rigid bar. The correct answer is letter A. The fulcrum is between the effort and the load. Question number 6. Which of the following is an example of third class levers? Correct answer is letter A, spoon. Question number seven. What do you mean by the word fulcrum? A, a force being lifted by the effort. B, a force that lifts resistance. Letter C, it is the fixed movable point where the rigid bar moves. And letter D, the distance of resistance to the fulcrum. Answer is letter C. It is the fixed movable point where the rigid bar moves. Question number eight. 
Where can you find the resistance in the second class lever? A. The resistance can be found in the middle. B. The resistance can be found in the end of the machine. Letter C. It can be found in the upper right of the fulcrum. And letter D. It can be found in the lower left of the fulcrum. The correct answer is letter A. The resistance can be found in the middle. Question number 9. Which of the following situation is an example of a lever machine? A. A girl manipulating a cell phone. B. Two little boys playing on a seesaw. C. A mother using a washing machine to wash clothes. And letter D. The class of Mrs. Reyes watching on a LED TV. Correct answer is letter B. Two little boys playing on a seesaw. Question number 10. Maria wants to cut a piece of paper. What class of lever should she use? A. First class. B. Second class. C. Third class. D. None of the above. Correct answer is letter A, first class. I hope you've learned something today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.